Hi everyone and welcome to Living Supernaturally. Thank you once again for giving us this opportunity to come together and ponder on God's word and pray. This week we've been looking at Bible characters. And all of the Bible characters we looked at was from the Old Testament. Today we we'll look at someone from the New Testament, the apostle Peter. Peter was one of Jesus' closest followers. A natural leader, Peter was a doer who often spoke up and motivated others when it was time to get things done. But sometimes Peter spoke and he should have kept quiet. Brave Peter promised loyalty, but he didn't follow that through. Earlier he said, Lord, I am ready to go with you to prison and to death. But in the courtyard, he denied even knowing Jesus. While this account tells of Peter's denial, it also talks about our Savior's love. In all that Jesus did here, allowing himself to be arrested, mocked, healing a soldier's ear, and even looking Peter in the eye, we can see the heart of Jesus who shows us the Father's heart. During Jesus' ministry, Peter was a man who wanted a mighty faith, but faltered often. After Jesus' ascension to heaven, having been restored and forgiven by our Lord Jesus, he becomes the spokesperson for the apostles. This unschooled man spoke with boldness to crowds of thousands, bringing them the good news performing merry miracles, including bringing the dead back to life. The same Peter who was fearful and denied Jesus is now standing and preaching the gospel in all boldness and courage. He traveled all over sharing Jesus' message, enduring persecution, imprisonment, and untimely death, showing his maturity by living a spirit-filled life. Peter recognized that time spent with Jesus should produce maturity in a believer's life and their relationship with Christ. The look and love of Jesus are a marvelous message. It is not a look of condemnation that melted Peter's heart. It was a loving look of a father caring for his wayward child. It was an inviting look of grace, a look that brought remorse and repentance. It was a look of the redeeming, restoring love of God. He's looking at us the same way that he looked at Peter. He's looking at us that same love today. What can we learn from Peter's life? Jesus uses unlikely heroes. Jesus forgives unfaithfulness. Jesus sees us as he intends us to be. No matter where we are in our life right now, what position we hold, he knows where he knows where He wants us to be, and He will lead us there. Let's pray. Father, we thank You for Your Word. We thank You for Your love, Your loving eyes, Your loving heart that called us, Lord. We pray, God, that we will continue to look at that, look at Your face, look at You, O oh God, no matter what happens around us, that our eyes may be fixed on you to give you honor and glory in our lives. We thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.